I've been trying to figure out the best place for this little tree that I put together the other night, and I think that this is it. This is the playroom. I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should rename it because people mostly read in here or do work. Um, so maybe the library or something is more appropriate. But at any rate, I love how this looks on the little table that we have. This is the perfect example of high-low decorating. I mean, you have this scarred table that we inherited from someone who recalls eating at it with his father every morning for breakfast. Champagne bucket and velvet ribbon. A pretty high class, I guess. And then you have this little inexpensive tree from Target. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, and I really like it here. I'm not sure if I'll put lights on it. I kind of like how it looks very simple and nice, but I have basically decided that as soon as I can find some, I think, matte black stones to put in the top, I'm going to do that because I think it'll look really a lot nicer. And then the next thing to do in this room, I think, is to just um, set up the nativity, the children's nativity, which usually goes on here. Last year we had the nativity set up. We had, instead of having two stacked on top of each other, we had two with one on either side. So this might not be the best spot for it. Maybe what we should do is set it up on this bookshelf. That would look really nice. Um, I'm just going to have to think about it since we've set things up a little differently than we've had them in the past. But I love how this looks. Um, and I think the only other thing that I want to do in here, uh, besides putting up the nativity set, is to hang another star in this window over here that's by my husband's chair where he does sometimes work. I think hanging that there would be nice. And possibly I would get normal sized lunch bags, though this, the smaller one looks fine. I don't know, we'll see. I've gotta play it by ear, but those are the two things left to do in here. Hang a star in each of these windows and set up the children's nativity someplace. <laughs> It's gonna look so fancy. Are you doing a cross on both sides? Mm -hmm. Is it hard to do this? No. I am finally cleaning my dining room in my kitchen. So what I do is I take everything out except this giant plant and the table. I move it all into the sunroom and then I scrub the table. This table has these spaces between the boards that get really gross. So I'm gonna clean the whole table. I run a butter knife down these little cracks, clean that, clean underneath, um, clean the chairs, and then I sweep the floor and I mop the floor. And then I clean everything that comes back in here and then the room is done. So hopefully this will not take long. I'm going to listen to a Homemaker Chic podcast.
the dining room is cleaned. I changed a couple of things up. I moved this tree from our sunroom into here. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna work actually because it's hiding the picture, but for now, it's fine. And then I put the little plant table under our icon corner. And again, I'm not sure if that's gonna be okay. There, I have to see what my husband thinks. Um, because I feel like with my little marble table here and having the plant here, it's too crowded. And having that tall plant in this corner was too crowded. So we're trying this. It's probably gonna get moved again because um, like I said, that big plant is covering that nice picture and I really like it in that spot. So I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, this is what's set up. I did exactly what I told you. I washed the table, scrubbed the table, cleaned the chairs, um, swept and mopped the floor, and then cleaned everything as I put it back. So that is done. And now we get to see how long it takes me to clean the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen is a little bit of a disaster. It's not terrible. Um, I have to clear, of course, all the counters. I have some dirty dishes from lunch and I just basically have to wash all the counters um, clean off the appliances a bit and um, then I'll probably just sweep and mop the floors um, which um, go all the way down here to the entrance of the church this little hallway so I clean this hallway clean all in here all of this stuff the sink then this counter here where a toaster and baking things are. And then this little counter which when we moved in had wine glasses hanging from underneath. Um, I think both ones, but anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that I made it into a little tea area and this is pretty crowded. Things have been accumulating here which I don't like to have. Um, so I'm gonna have to tidy this all up. So we'll see how it looks when it is all done. I just finished cleaning this kitchen. Did all of the surfaces. I did the floor. And I finished it just in time. I have to take our son to basketball. So everything is done and I feel incredibly accomplished. Two rooms cleaned plus the shed today. So I feel like that is a good day's work. Hi everyone, it is Thursday, December 10th. Thanks for joining me on this epic cleaning day. I did not wake up expecting to get the shed done, but um, I'm really glad that we did. My husband did the majority of the work. I just sort of helped schlep things out and in. Um, and I was really happy that I jumped right into the dining room and kitchen because for some reason, those two rooms are really hard for me to get the motivation to clean, even though we're using them constantly. I think maybe it has to do with the fact that they're almost immediately dirty as soon as I finish cleaning them. I finished them this afternoon late, almost at five o'clock, and then took our son, our middle son, to basketball. And by the time I came back, um, our youngest son had already peeled himself a pomegranate and left all of the paraphernalia everywhere. Um, he had made himself some eggs and toast and left butter, toast, eggs, uh, frying pan, everything out. And so I kind of had to re-clean the kitchen, which wasn't bad. I mean, once you clean it, it just requires tidying, of course, but it was, it was a little sad. I kind of, I like to clean things um, and then enjoy them for a while. <laughs> which I'm sure every mother does, but you know, that's our job. So I am glad that I got that done today and it, it feels really good to walk into a clean kitchen. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep it semi-decent until after Christmas, um, just a general daily clean. Um, we'll see. Anyway, I feel like we accomplished a lot today. I also had Zoom with my little friend this morning and, um, 
of course, school. I'm not sure what's happening with school tomorrow. I heard a rumor that the iPads are getting a software update, I guess. So I don't know if that means that the kids have work to do tomorrow. Um, I mean, we have a desktop, but it will be kind of hard to juggle both children. Um, maybe the high school is the ones that just have the update for their iPads and that doesn't include the middle school. I don't know. We'll play it by ear and see um, what happens. I know our daughter has three of her classes without Zoom tomorrow. I don't know about her first class. Hopefully we'll find that out tonight before we go to bed so that I can let her sleep in if she doesn't have to wake up for Zoom. At any rate, it was a great, not a lot of the fun Christmassy content that I know that we all enjoy watching this time of year, but um, I think satisfying nonetheless, at least for me. I will talk to you tomorrow, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. See you soon.